hi welcome back so today we are going in this video we are going to analyze 2d types of problem so that is known as plane stress problem so till now we have done trusses bars as well as beams so that is comes under 1d dimensions of problem what do you want dimension means so it is compared to three dimension now one dimension is dominant that means more will be there. like usually in bars and uh, as well as beams as well as in uh, trusses so the longitudinal direction the length is more compared to the cross sections now that is known as 1d bar element so therefore the stress or whatever the strain it is produced only along with respect to that direction now when the two dimension is dominant compared to the third dimension that is usually under along the z axis then that problem is known as two dimension problem so this usually comes plate all surface plate uh, under comes in a two dimension because here along x and y the dimension is considerable compared to the thickness usually when the thickness is more than uh, less than 15 we treat it as 2d if it's more than 15 then we are going to consider as three dimension that means the stresses along that direction will be considerable now stresses will be produced along z direction but that will be negligible so in that we are going to take a first problem that is a plate 2d types of plate problems so let me see the read the question first a rectangular plate with a hole at the center subject to a uniform pressure as shown in figure the plate is under plane stress and find the maximum deflection and maximum distribution also find the the shape of the hole so take plate thickness as 25 mm and e as 207 gpa and this is known as poisonous ratio so this is a the plate they given this is the dimension of 150 mm width and height of 100 and at the center there is a hole of 40 mm diameter at the end they are applied the pressure 14 megapascal so now let's get into the axis uh, to solve this problem in short way so as usual preference this also comes under structural problem now the thing now pre-process step so here we are selecting the element that will be like we have to select solid in that quiet node 42 so for a truss we selected link for a beam we selected beam 2d elastic now for this it is comes under now it is a plate is a solid plate therefore for that we have to select solid in that quiet node 4 node 42 element so after that we have to go for option here here element behavior q plane stress with a thickness so this is very very important otherwise real constant value you can't able to assign now now with respect to this element the real constant what you have to give is add add and okay it is asking only thickness this is one more difference in trusses as well as in a links uh, sorry bar we are given a area whereas in a beam we are given area as well as height as well as ings uh, uh, movement of inertia these are the three real constant given. now here only thickness so what is the thickness of the plate the given as 25 mm so now that is we are going to enter everything we are going to take up in a mm only now so now material property this step will be as usual before linear elastic and isotropy so here so what is the Young's models value is 207 gp so gp is there we are going to convert into newton per mm square that means 207 into e power 3 and this will be 0 0.3 okay now close this window come back to the modeling then create so now here very important one more steps the difference in the step compared to previous problem is in previously we have directly modeled the fem element using a nodes as well as element but now here what we are going to do we are creating first geometric model like using points and nodes that is we are going to uh, that is not a geometric model then after that we are going to convert that into a fem element that means points are converted into a nodes as well as well as lines is converted into elements so that is you for the for that we are going to do a meshing process so now this is a plate like this is a plate like we are ready to create like area so for that we are going to create now and here 
lines will be there key points there now we are going to select the area that is rectangle and by two corner now here one more very important thing is so this is a plate now this plate it is symmetric about x axis as well as y axis so therefore we are instead of analyze the whole plate we are going to take divide this plate in a four quadrant and we are going to take up in that only one quadrant so if you analyze through only one quadrant what is the advantage will be so if you instead of the one if you take a four whole plate it take we have to uh, take more competitive competition time to solve this so and also we need because it is we need to divide it more elements so to uh, not to save the time we are going to do only symmetrical one quadrant therefore it will give the same answer with a minimum time that is advantage therefore we are going to take up only this quadrant and from here to here the distance become 150 by 2 and height is 100 divided by 2 and radius is 20 mm as usual so therefore we are going to take area rectangle in that by two corner now this quadrant we are going to take up at the center therefore now x coordinate and y coordinate give us 0 0 width is 75 150 divided by 2 and this is 100 divided by 250 so now this is the origin now here we draw we generated this half quadrant now we need to create a circle now so that is solid circle that is one more area again that is this corner only therefore this is a 0 comma 0 and radius is i think 20 mm. yes press ok now next thing is now we need to create a hole for that we need to go here operate after op operation that is boolean operation you know there are boolean different boolean is the intersect add subtract divide glue overlap alike so intersect means suppose you have to iterate these two then intersect you are going to use add means when you are going to add the area to here then add option subtract when you have to subtract one area to in another area we are going to use a subtract so now we need to subtract this whole area in the rectangle therefore we are going to subtract boolean operation we're taking first we need to select the subtract in that area it is asking here enter the area which to subtract so now we need to subtract the base area from that is rectangle you have to select press then second <coughs> it is asking which area to be subtracted we need to subtract the whole area so now whole is created half whole is created one point this much only so modeling is done now now thing is now we need to convert this geometric modeling into fa model that, that we need to go for mesh tool now here Keep this in mind and select yes mod size so what is this mod size means so whether you required a uh, small element or you required larger the element so as you final the element you'll get a good results so therefore that means accurate result we'll keep it in fine mode up to two then click on this mesh then select here then press ok so now all the element size become two now so this is one more important step now meshing is done that means fm model is done all the area convert into element and nodes so next we are going to apply boundary conditions so boundary conditions here we take on this half very important thing is now here the pressure is 14 megapascal and it is 14 megapascal here now that means here 14 megapascal, 14 megapascal. instead of that if I fix it this corner and this edge, it is seem simulate like a two equal and opposite forces. Therefore, I'm going to give a boundary condition is very important. That is define loads, displacement, apply, structural. On that, here because it is a symmetric section we are taken, we are going to give symmetry boundary condition on lines. We have to fix left edge and bottom edge press okay this is one more important step so we are applied this here and here we applied okay then we need to apply pressure now so pressure on lines we need to apply so here select the right edge and press okay what is the value we need to give so here 14 megapascal that is tensile in nature keep this mind in default pressure always taking a compressive nature but we require like a tensile nature therefore we need to give a minus 14 
mega pascal is nothing but new temper one new mega pascal is one new temper mm square then press ok then we apply the boundary condition that means pre-pressing part is completed now it is ready to solve this then go for solution now we need to do the result for the post processing now here are the things we need to see the result we need to find one is maximum deflection and maximum stress also find the deformed shape for that go for general course processor and nodal solution then here select the deformation and displacement vector so now this is the maximum displacement that is on this side because these two are fixed that is 0 0.007 mm so same thing we got nothing but 7.39 minus 3 in terms of mm now to see the maximum stress go for element solution so not in a nodal solution stress here we need to select a one meter stress keep this in mind now one meter stress is the max give the overall max stress now the maximum stress is occurred on this whole area that is 53.21 the unit is no temper mm square or mega pascal so same thing we got the answer so that means our analysis is right so why we got the maximum is because stress is constant here that's why this problem is known as stress concentration problem so and also we need to check the deformation of the deformed shape of the wall means when you apply the load how the hole is deformed so now here wall is not full is there that means only we take any quadrant no? different to extra plotted like a plate form we need to go here plot controls then in a plot controls size and shape symmetric expansion select periodic and one by four four quadrant now you can see we are extra plotted uh, like a plate form now this is what initially it is circular with it now because of applying the force on this side it is like a tension force the whole is deformed like a elliptical form so maximum stress is produced at this point so this is a stress distribution representation so by this we completed the first problem on the 2d problem on the plate i hope you are understood thank you